Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the film called A Dog's Way Home, released in 2019. Have you ever wondered what it's like to see the world through the eyes of a dog? If so, then this is your chance. This is Bella. She is an adorable puppy. We begin the movie seeing the world through Bella's eyes. You've probably heard the saying, fighting like cats and dogs before, but you might be surprised to find that doesn't apply here. Bella spent the first part of her life in an abandoned building living amongst both dogs and cats. So the cats were not her enemies, they were part of her family. Even though the dogs and cats weren't hurting anyone, one day, two animal control officers raided the house. They caught and took away every member of Bella's dog family. And just like that, in a matter of minutes, Bella was all alone. But Bella didn't have just a dog family, she had a cat family too. And one of the cats saved Bella from the animal control officers. Lucas and Olivia are two animal lovers who go out of their way to visit the stray cats and dogs in the neighborhood. Although humans destroyed Bella's family, Lucas was different. He went to the demolished building every day to feed the homeless cats. On this day, Bella ran out to meet them. Lucas and Olivia fell in love with the friendly and energetic Bella immediately. Lucas even took Bella home with him so she could keep his mother company while he was at school. Bella was good at her job, comforting Lucas's mom when she was sad. Bella loved Lucas and her new home. Because she was just a puppy, everything was a game to her. She played all day long, and Lucas was a good owner. Even when she misbehaved, Lucas never got mad at her. In the blink of an eye, Bella grew bigger, but she was just as happy now as she was when she was little. One day, Lucas found a letter taped to the door of their house. The landlord was coming to check the house. As it turned out, dogs weren't allowed in their house, so Lucas and his mom had no choice but to hide Bella at the Veterans Association. Bella thought this was a new game, but not a very fun one. Locked in a storage closet alone, Bella began to bark for Lucas to come back. Everywhere in the building, people could hear barking through the ceiling. One of the employees discovered Bella, but instead of kicking her out, he brought her to the group therapy session as a special guest. During the therapy session, Bella used her special powers to comfort the veterans. All the veterans loved her immediately and used creative ways to help hide her from the doctor. Luckily, everyone there was a dog lover and weren't afraid to break a few rules. Naturally, Bella thought this was a great game. One day while on a walk with Bella, Lucas and Olivia discovered Bella's old home was being torn down. The cats were in danger, but the property owner didn't care about a bunch of cats. Lucas and Olivia immediately stopped the demolition, angering the property owner. Sometimes doing the right thing can bring about awful consequences. That very night, an animal control officer showed up at their door, threatening to take away Bella because she was dangerous. This couldn't be a coincidence. In an effort to save Bella, Lucas taught Bella the game Go Home so she could run home on her own. One day, a cheeky squirrel started taunting Bella from the window, so naturally, Bella gave chase. Lucas eventually found Bella in the street, but animal control wasn't far behind. It was already too late. Lucas had no choice but to let the animal control officer take Bella to the pound. Bella wasn't the only dog at the pound. Sad and scared, she did everything she could to get Lucas back, but nothing worked. The next morning, Lucas came back for her. Although he was there to take her home, the animal control officer gave them a strict warning about what would happen to Bella if she was caught again. This was too cruel. With no other choice, Lucas gave Bella to Olivia's relatives who lived out of the city. As expected, the animal control officer was working for the immoral property owner, but Lucas's mom scared him into letting Bella leave the city. Lucas and Bella shared a heartfelt goodbye. Naturally, Bella didn't understand why she was going so far away or why Lucas wasn't coming with her. Was it because she didn't play the game Go Home when he told her to? Olivia's relatives were good people. They played with Bella and gave her food. Bella tried to like her new home, but it wasn't the same. They weren't her family. 
Dearly missing Lucas, Bella seized the opportunity to hop over the fence and run back home. But it's such a long way, how could she possibly find her way back on her own? Even with the odds stacked against her, Bella kept going. Bella had never truly been on her own before, so it was only natural that she had difficulty surviving out in the wild. Hungry and tired, Bella tried to hunt in the forest, but her prey got away. Eventually, Bella arrived in a new town. There, she found a new pack. She had fun with her new friends, who taught her all the best places to find food. Getting food from kind-hearted humans was a lot easier than chasing rabbits. But as nighttime came, Bella came to a sad realization about her new friends. She could have stayed and joined a new family, but she chose to go back on the road instead. One day, Bella smelled blood and tracked it to a mountain lion that had been killed by hunters. Nearby, Bella found a mountain lion cub that was all alone. Reminded of her own cat family, Bella adopted the cub, feeding her and keeping her warm at night. Together, they journeyed through the wilderness. Bella was smart. She had learned that in order to survive, she needed to get food from humans. Sometimes, this was easier than others. Pretty soon, the cub grew as big as Bella. Bella loved her cub and would do anything to protect her, even if it meant fighting other animals. Luckily, the coyotes were chased off by three men. Just when it looked like Bella was about to be reunited with Lucas, the cub accidentally scared the men away. Bella and the cub continued their journey, playing new games and creating new experiences. Excited to find another dog after so long, Bella and the dog's barking caused an avalanche. While the dog's owner was in the hospital, two skiers adopted Bella and the new dog. Her new life wasn't bad. She was warm and had a full belly each day. One day, the two men took Bella and her new friend back to his owner. Although the dog was happy to see his owner, the owner was actually a mean old man who didn't care about his dog at all. The mean old man didn't deserve his dog. Luckily, after the man disowned his dog, the two skiers adopted him. Although Bella was happy her friend had found a loving new home, she knew her real home was somewhere else, so she ran away again. When Bella reached a new town, she was adopted by an old man. Although this old man had nothing except the clothes on his back, he at least made sure Bella was never hungry. The old man really loved Bella and was constantly afraid that she would leave him. But in the end, it was the old man who left Bella on her own, chained and unable to escape. His love for her actually ended up hurting her. After the old man passed away, Bella became weak with thirst and hunger. No matter how long she waited, no one came to find her. She had almost given up hope when two kids suddenly found her. The kids released Bella from her chain and she went back to finding Lucas. Out in the wild, coyotes began hunting her again. Even though Bella ran as fast as she could, it was one against many and she was soon surrounded by a pack of hungry coyotes. But Bella didn't give up hope. Instead, she attacked first. But what could she do against so many enemies? When it looked like all hope was lost, a mountain lion suddenly joined the fight. That's right, this mountain lion was Bella's cub. Except it wasn't a cub anymore, it was all grown up. If Bella could find one member of her family again, then there was still hope she could find Lucas too. Bella was so excited to introduce Lucas to her new family and dreamed of their new life together. Unfortunately, the mountain lion knew that she couldn't go back with Bella and Bella knew she belonged with Lucas. Although it was a difficult choice, they parted ways one final time. Exiting the forest, Bella came upon a busy road. Because she was only a dog, all she could do was try to run across the road. As expected, Bella caused an accident on the road. Somehow, she survived. But just when we thought she would make it to the other side of the road... Even though Bella was in pain, she was too close to stop now. She just kept limping her way back home with her broken paw. At long last, after two long years, she was finally back in front of Lucas's house. But after running inside, it turned out this wasn't the childhood home she remembered, and the people who lived there now weren't her family. Bella didn't understand. Where was Lucas? Where was mom? Where were the people she loved? 
The people who lived in the house now didn't know what a great dog Bella was, so they called animal control. As expected, the animal control officer recognized Bella immediately. Bella was smart, so she escaped through the window and went to the other place Lucas could be. This was her last hope. Bella limped to the Veterans Association. At the Veterans Association, some things had changed since Bella had been gone. There were even more dogs there now to help the veterans, but that didn't mean the people had forgotten Bella. In fact, her old friends were all excited to see Bella again and welcomed her home. More importantly, she finally found Lucas. He hadn't forgotten about her either. Their happy reunion was interrupted by a squadron of police cars in front of the Veterans Association. The animal control officer had called for backup to take Bella in. If they took Bella in, Bella would die. Luckily, none of the veterans were willing to give up Bella. They all stood up for her, helping her the way she once helped them. Just when it looked like all hope was lost, Bella was saved on a technicality. Although the city of Denver didn't allow pit bulls, the Veterans Association was federal property. Animal control had no jurisdiction there. The movie ends with Bella back home where she belonged, with the people she loved. Lucas and Olivia hadn't forgotten her. They even kept her favorite blanket and played her favorite game with her. A happy and touching ending. Bella's journey back home took her over two years to complete. In all that time, she never forgot the people she loved. And despite all the hardships she encountered, she remained a kind, gentle dog. This was a heartwarming tale of family, love, and perseverance.